Why are people failing in affiliate marketing? Hey, Josh here, and in this video, I'm gonna share with you five reasons why people fail at affiliate marketing. So what are the five reasons people fail at affiliate marketing? Well, number one is picking the wrong niche or niche. In other words, the three most popular niches are health, wealth, and relationships. Those are the ones searched for the most. Those are the ones Googled the most. Those are the ones people are the most interested in. Now, I want to share with you two perspectives on this. Number one, I would say pick a niche you're passionate about. Because there are other things that I'm passionate about, not just affiliate marketing. However, you have to understand this. Many times you get into what's profitable before you get into what you're passionate about. Now, not everybody agrees with this and that's okay, but if you're looking to start out in business with affiliate marketing, you're getting into something that's profitable, in other words, promoting a product that can give you a great return with a high ticket commission for a sale for that matter. But when you do that, you're paving the way to get into what you're really passionate about. So you may want to go all in and just go, hey, no, I'm just going to go with what I'm passionate about. I'm not going to look for the profit aspect. I'm just going to go with the passion, expect the money to follow. And that will happen, of course. Eventually it will happen but it may take a time. So if you don't have the money up front to go after what you're passionate about and sustain you until that thing kicks off or that, that aspect of that marketing you're doing kicks in and starts giving you returns and making money, then I would encourage you to take the profitable path. Because as you take the profitable path, you're gonna be positioning yourself to provide the finances you need to go after what you're passionate about. Here's just an example. I know people that are passionate about mindset and mindset training and helping people develop in mindset and helping people, you know, grow mentally and emotionally and helping them in life and, you know, just being a motivation, motivator and encourager. But they don't have the finances to get into that. So what they do, they go into affiliate marketing and begin maybe get into how to make money online. And they get into that, they master that product or they master that, that marketing uh, aspect and begin to make sales from that, make commissions from that. And as that continues to grow, it gives them the freedom they desire to go after what they're really passionate about. Now you may be passionate about making money online and that's great if you are, then go for that. But this is just an avenue you can take as kind of a stepping stone to get to that place you wanna to get to with what you're really passionate about. Once again, with getting into, say for example, how to make money online with affiliate marketing as the path or the stepping stone to get you to the thing you really wanna promote. All right, number two reason people fail in affiliate marketing is paralysis analysis or never starting. Now, what can cause paralysis analysis or never starting? Well, for one thing, it can be a mindset. If you are used to the nine to five job mindset of working that schedule, clocking in, clocking out, or that salaried position, if you are used to that, it can be hard for you to transition. I know because I came from a business where I didn't work a nine to five. I worked sometimes 10, 12 hours a day working in a business, but I had a schedule. I had to be there and then I was there at a certain time. And of course, you know, it depended on what the job required or the productivity level that was needed, how long I ended up staying for that job for that day. And with that in mind, when I shifted into online marketing, affiliate marketing, I realized it changed the schedule and that took a real, real work to get through that because of being used to that schedule all the time. If you're not careful and you get into this nine to five mindset or whatever hours you work from in the morning to in the evening, what you'll do is you'll become so accustomed to that, it'll be hard to work on the marketing business that you're trying to start on your own. Most people never start because they're so used to that schedule. So after they work their nine to five job, they're tired when they get home from work. And I get that, I was there as well. But you put in that extra time. When you come to a place where you're able to step away from that business and go into full-time with affiliate marketing because you've got the results and, and you've, you've seen the sales and the things you desire to see coming from that, it makes it even more challenging because then you gotta discipline yourself to work on those products or on that business you're building on your own time. You're not punching a time clock. Nobody's telling you you gotta be there. There's no consequences if you don't show up. There is consequences in the long run because you don't build and you don't produce what you want to in your business. But a lot of people get stuck there. This is kind of what paralysis analysis is, or people just never start. They talk about it and talk about it and talk about it. They just never take action. I see a lot of people don't know how to start in affiliate marketing in an online business. So of course, because they don't know how to do it, they never start. 
that's why it's good and I would encourage you to do that because it's been a part of my journey to get involved with a program that has a mentor that is there for you, can help you and encourage you and give you the direction, take the steps you need to take, whether it's through the training they promote or through connection with them individually, directly for that matter. Having that contact and being within a reasonable amount of time accessible for them to respond to your questions or, or you know, in a private Facebook group that they can respond back when you comment on a post or have a question for them is very, very important because those days when you, you're not feeling it, they can motivate you. Or those days when you don't know what the next step is or what you should be working on, they can motivate you. And one thing that my mentor has taught me is focus on becoming 1% better every day. So without a mentor in your life to help you with your business, not just your business, but your mindset, your own struggles within yourself as well, because remember your business reflects you. But without that in your life, you get into paralysis analysis. You overthink it, you overplan, you over research. And when you do that, you get overwhelmed and so consumed by it all that you never start. So what happens is we get overwhelmed in information and research and we plan, but we never execute the plan. That's what you have to watch out for with paralysis analysis. Okay, reason number three of the five reasons people fail at affiliate marketing, no time management and no self-discipline. Now, almost everybody that starts out in affiliate marketing, it's a side hustle. In other words, they're doing it on the side of their full-time job or their full-time career, whatever they got going on now. But once again, as I said before, it's critical then you establish self-discipline and time management. Put in that extra time after you get home from work or once you're in affiliate marketing full-time business and you've let go of that other career because you're able to be sustained with where you're at now, you gotta have that time management. You gotta have that self-discipline. If you fail to have that, your business is gonna fail. It's a matter of time. That's what a lot of people experience in that. And because of that, that, that struggle that people have and they don't do those things necessary to discipline themselves and manage their time, many fail in affiliate marketing because of that reason. So I would encourage you to set your goals and set your time management plan out. It's where you can strategize for your business and those different strategies you need for your own growth as well. Because remember, becoming 1% better every day will eventually get you to the results you desire in building this business. So I encourage you when you're building this and you're, whether you're first starting out or you've been doing this for a while, the keys is being consistent. So be consistent and don't get distracted. Stay the course, stay focused. And once again, let your mentor speak into you and encourage you when you're having trouble or you're struggling with things or you're not getting the results, whatever it may be, let your mentor speak into you. Do what they say to do because remember, they should be somewhere that you want to be and have already went through what you are going through. They've been there, they've done it, now they're in the place they want to be and they're in a place where you want to see yourself get to. I know that's a lot what I just said right there, but I want to encourage you, a mentor is so important because they'll help you along that journey. It's even an interesting example. I saw a uh, illustration recently, it's so true. You know, a ladder will only go so high, but with a mentor, it's like the ladder just goes higher and higher and you can get on their ladder and go higher because your ladder will only go so far with the limited experience you may have in building an online business or affiliate marketing. Now, number three can really lead to the number four reason, which is lack of patience or quitting before you get the results. Now, if you have poor time management skills, you may only see a few results when you're first starting out. You got to stay consistent. Keep putting in the time. Remember, you're building something to last a lifetime. So you can't rush something that you want to last forever. That's why a lot of people, when they're building their business, get disappointed in the beginning and they just give up. And that's another reason why they fail in affiliate marketing. Also with the lack of patience and not good time discipline, a lot of people get shiny object syndrome when they first start out in business. They think they can have this lavish lifestyle with very little effort put involved, working from a laptop minimal hours or minimal amount of time per day. This is another reason people fail in affiliate marketing because they see this picture of something that's painted that's not really true. It's gonna take time and it's gonna take patience, but you can build your dreams and be your own boss. Now tell me what sounds better than that. I know I'm enjoying this journey. Okay, the number five reason people fail in affiliate marketing 
is not connecting with their customers or helping their customers for that matter. See, because in any business, you need to be able to connect with your clients and help with your clients on at least some level if you want to keep them as customers. So the challenge of that is finding out what your customers' needs, desires, and goals are and creating content or doing live feeds or live streams or creating videos around that because you want to be available to answer your customers' questions and concerns. For example, if you're on Facebook, when they comment below your video or your post, you want to, of course, respond to that. You want to answer any questions you have. You want to give them value. In regards to YouTube, of course, there's a comment section on this. You can comment below, and some of you have asked questions before, and we responded to that. Or you've complimented us on our videos, and we're very grateful for that. You always want to continue to build interaction, not just for your business side, but just for the relational side as well, to just help people. Because when you help others, you're going to get the results you want as you stay consistent with that. But I love what my mentor has taught me over the amount of time I've been involved in business. If you focus on making money, you're not going to make money. When you help others is when you start to see results. See, because what you want to do is maintain a relationship with customers and clients until they learn to trust you. Now, in the beginning, they're not going to be customers or clients for that matter because they don't know you, they don't know if they like you, and of course they don't trust you. So you have to build that KLT. Now, what exactly is that? Well, K is no, L is like, and T is trust. And to learn more about that, there's a video on our channel that talks about understanding and building KLT. But here's the thing. Once you build that KLT with them, they're going to become customers. They're going to become clients. They may not buy from you in the beginning, but over time as you build that relationship, eventually they're going to become your customer and your client because they're learning to trust you. That is critical with your customers and your clients when you're building an affiliate marketing business. People that don't do those things and just look at people as a number or just a sale, fail in affiliate marketing because they don't value the relationship. They only focus on the commission. These are the five reasons people fail in affiliate marketing. Hey guys, I hope this video has been helpful. Thank you so much for checking this video out. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please do so. Also, hit that notification bell and you'll be notified of when new content comes out because we release content weekly, sometimes one, maybe two videos a week. Comment below. Let us know if you like this video. Give us a share if you would, please. Listen, thank you so much for checking out this video, and I will see you in the next video. And go out there and build your affiliate marketing business, and don't let one of these five reasons cause you to fail.